the supply chain is a consequence of the lockdown and the reopening. And, and frankly, that's going to be an, you know, a, a, a resolution that will come and that will be resorted out this year. We'll continue to source the vast majority of our products out of Asia. That's where the capacity is, that's where the competence is, and they'll continue to be that also in the future. But of course, what we are doing is we're doing 3D printed shoes, which were introduced three or four years ago as the first and the only you know, sports manufacturer of that. So you are seeing an evolution, but the vast majority of sports products are going to continue to be manufactured out of Asia. Caspar, I want to get into the operating expenses and what we can expect from here as you forecast a, a strong second quarter. Clearly, there's still been a lot of closures going on and, you know, operating expenses down 5% and marketing was a big component of that. Will this change down the track? Do you think that the customer acquisition costs make sense if they go up when you finally got a, a proper reopening of economies? Yeah. Well, we are going to see expenses going up, and of course, we're going to see marketing spend going up significantly in the second quarter because we do want to celebrate sport. You have the European Championship starting in four weeks. You have Cup in America starting in four weeks. You're right now, you know, the Spanish Open going on. You have the French Open coming up. You have the Wimbledon. So, frankly, we do want to spend. We do want to you know, push our brand out. Overall, we have a very strong guidance for the full year, so this is encapsulating the guidance. But clearly, we are, you know, we are, uh, you know, contemplating investing into the brand and into the opening and getting people, you know, out on the streets again in a safe environment. So that's part of our game plan, but it's included in the guidance, and that's why we also feel comfortable about taking the guidance up for the year because we're seeing, you know, really the interest and the desire to participate in sport again and view sport again in a social environment. Casper, just on Reebok, uh, you've obviously been talking to the market here about the costs expected uh, around the uh, Reebok disposal. Uh, Reuters had a story a couple of days ago suggesting that the China story may be denting Asian buyer interest potentially into the Reebok brand. Is that happening? Is there any basis of fact for that report? What are you finding from those who are interested in the brand? Reebok is one of the most attractive sports brands in the world, and I can only confirm that what Reuters said has no merit.